Wow. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Um, I heard the devastating news, so I gotta I gotta give my condolences to the Bryant family. Jelly Bean. Joe. Oh man, Jelly Bean Bryant has passed away. Uh the beloved father of Kobe. And nobody can um, unconvince me that it was grief that killed this man because the man is only he's 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 just a, he's a, he's a young man. He's still in his sixties, for God's sake. Um, a lot of basketball uh, life. Not saying that he could have played pro anymore, but I'm saying he was a young man. He was a vital man and. I just think the grief of losing his only son, um, that burden and the carry it. And I don't even want to get into how the NBA did him at Kobe's funeral because, see, that's what I mean by that, that mentality that likes to divide and conquer. They snatched, got the man's son away from him. Through money, they got and convinced the son that his father was no longer valid. This is my opinion, of course. Uh, and that he was the one in that family that's taken it to the new level. And that um, it's okay if you distance yourself from them because you are a special one. And I think Kobe had a lot of that in him. But I'm glad to see the father and son united. And that's the only thing that brings you some kind of consolation through his death. Oh. So rest in power, my brother. Rest in power. Again. I don't have any further details about how he passed or what. I just know that Joe Jelly Green Giant from the Philadelphia 76ers who played with Dr. J. Moses Malone was on the championship team, I believe. But he's no longer here. And um, my heart and condolences go out to that family. His sisters, his mom, Um, may they find some kind of comfort and peace in knowing that him and Kobe is together. God bless you.